The LCP definitions, ceramic wares. Ceramic wares are mm, a little bit complicated, so stick with me. This video will be a little bit longer than your average definition video for the internet. The LCP defines ceramic wares. You can go to the glossary at the top of the navigation bar, and you'll see that our definition encompasses the following three parts. A ceramic ware is a set of vessels that are made out of the same petrofabric, by which we mean the same clay source. A ceramic ware also encompasses vessels that are made with the same manufacturing technique. So for example, vessels made on a wheel or vessels made by hand. Those two different techniques would mean that vessels even of a similar shape and clay source would be two different wares. And then the third part of the definition is ceramic wares are are a production by potters that encompass a specific suite of shapes, although of course those shapes can come in and out of uh, activity, in and out of production, in and out of date. Now this definition of wear conforms well to the kind of pottery productions that were made in the Eastern Mediterranean in the Greek and the Roman and the medieval times, classical and medieval periods. So sigillatas, for example, Eastern sigillata A and B and Italian sigillata are very similar range of shapes, very similar production techniques. Why aren't they the same where? Their clay source is different. Eastern sigillata A is made in the region of the Bay of Iskenderun in coastal Syria and southern Turkey. Eastern sigillata B is made in the region of Asia Minor around the area of the city of Ephesus and Italian sigillata, of course, comes from Italy. So the clay sources are different and that means that even though these are made with a similar manufacturing technique and suite of shapes, they don't have that first component, the same petrofabric. Now that's the way that classical archaeologists and medieval archaeologists tend to define where, but people who work in the, in the periods of the Bronze Age and the Iron Age often use the term where differently and that's okay. That's okay. The LCP is really not about insisting on a specific mode of defining something. We're about suggesting. So a good example of how where is used by our, some archaeologists in a way that doesn't conform to the mode of the LCP definition but is still allowed on the LCP is Tel el Yehudia ware. Tel el Yehudia ware is a kind of ceramic that's produced in the southernmost Levant and in Egypt in the middle of the second millennium BCE. And Tel el Yehudia ware is really technically a decorative technique. It's a technique where potters made a lot of punctuated impressions on pottery vessels of different shapes. Sometimes the same shapes wouldn't have this kind of decoration, sometimes it would, and potters all over the place did this, so that means they use different clay sources, and so technically speaking, Tel El Hudia ware isn't a ware because all of these different potters use different clay sources. Nonetheless, many archaeologists who work in the Middle Bronze Age uh, like to use the term because it's still meaningful for them. And that's all right. You'll find Tel Hudia ware on, is listed as one of the wares on the LCP. Uh, so my point here really is that the LCP offers a way to define wares and you can avail yourself of it, but you may also decide to use the term in a different way. On the LCP wear page, you'll find a place to submit information about a macroscopic description, and hopefully soon we're going to be adding a box for you to define your wear. So how are you defining your wear in case the way that you're defining your wear doesn't actually conform to the suggested definition on the LCP. For additional definitions on the LCP, you can go to the glossary on the navigation bar, click on the tab, and a list will come down defining all of the terms that we use on the LCP.